What's up, everybody? <laughs> you feel this beat right here? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hey. Hi, everybody. It's Cindy here with Stampin' Chick Creations. Welcome to this month's video on our paper pumpkin kit. So this is June's kit for 2024, and it's called Life is Sweet, and I'm so excited to uh, get started. Now, before I start, I will tell you that I, I am very well aware that some people have not received their paper pumpkin kits. Stampin' Up! is aware of it. They have been in contact with FedEx. Apparently, quite a few got stuck in Winnipeg. Um, so they are working with FedEx on getting those... Uh, uh, out of the backlog and um, getting those on their way. However, it today is July 1st when I'm scheduling and doing this video. So if you still have not received your kit, I'm going to strongly suggest that you call 1-800-STAMP-UP um, and uh, let them know and they will work on getting you a new kit out. Mine did come when it was supposed to, but it looked like it had been run over. So I'll show you the box and show you. But from what I understand, um, nothing has been damaged inside. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can do the video for you. All right, let's go. So here's my box. Um, you can see it's, yeah, a little bit mangled. Um, I really don't have much uh, faith in, in FedEx. I prefer UPS much, much more. I find UPS um, is very uh, reliable and uh, very few times do I receive damaged product from, from UPS. So um, FedEx seems, we seem to have a lot of issues with FedEx, but I believe the reason we use them is because they can actually get us our product um, quicker than, uh, than UPS can for paper pumpkins. So um, yeah, my box is mangled, so I will not be keeping this box. This one will end up going in the garbage, which is unfortunate. All right, so my color this month is Shy Shamrock. That's exciting. Um, here's my stamp. It says, uh, what does it say? It says, thanks, wish you were here. Life is so much sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. Sweeter with friends like you. Um, you're truly amazing. Sweet friends, sending a big squeeze. So much to celebrate. So here is my tissue paper. And yeah, actually, it's perfectly intact. So, no complaints there. All right. So, let's throw that right in the garbage because we're not going to be needing that. Let's take a look. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, this one's really pretty. So, congrats. Hello. Miss you. Okay. So, look at these scalloped envelopes. So, we're doing three of each. I probably won't do three on the video just because um, I don't think you need to see me do all three. And I might actually do alternatives for this one. So you may have to come back and see if I do another video. No promises, but let's just see. Okay, so they do give us our linen thread and our tear and tape. We have these beautiful iridescent pearls. Uh, our glue dots are dimensionals. Oh my gosh, look at our in colors. Pretty in pink, shy shamrock, um, and peach pie. I love the envelopes that come with these. They have our die cut um, elements here with the vellum. Then we have our pretty and pink card bases with the texture. Can you see the texture on there? Um, here's our, our um, labels. We have some lemons. We have some more printed card stock, which is beautiful. We have some peaches our peach pie card bases that are again um, printed and we have our beautiful elements Woo! look at this dazzling paper these must be our words they are okay and then we have our vellum elements and then we have some cherries here is our chipboard which we're going to keep here is our insert for our stamp set which is awesome i love that they're doing this so thank you, Stampin' Up. Well, that's fantastic. And then I have my instructions. So just a reminder that I am doing a pre-bulk uh, order for this here. It's $16 or $16.95. Um, and you would get all three of these. And they do coordinate with the next three months worth of um, paper pumpkins. So here's our instructions. So let's get started. So what do we need for this one? We need the stamp. We're going to need, I'm only going to do one of each just for time. 
I'm just going to put this to the side. I'm going to need my stamp. And it says, wish you were here. This one here, wish you were here. And I'm going to actually use my um, full ink pad, which I like to do if I have it. And I know my full ink pad will be nice and juicy, so I'm definitely going to use that one. But they do give you the spots. I'm going to do all my stamping, though. So, wish you were here. Shy Shamrock. Maybe I'll use my... There it goes. Oh. You were here. Wish you were here. One more. Okay. Beautiful. And put that back up there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my dimensionals on the back of my pink, which I might just. I had a full pack of dimensionals out. Which I don't anymore. Okay, so I will use their dimensionals. My desk is a little bit of a disaster right now, so. Okay, so these are mini dimensionals that we're using. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to use my linen thread, and it tells me I need about 30 inches. I really don't know that I need 30 inches, but. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wrap this around. Oh, it's actually wrapped it around twice. Okay, I see. fingers are not working today. I can't feel them at all. I've been pulling a lot of weeds lately. Um, and I find that if I overuse my hands, then I just, I can't feel them very well for the next couple days. So... There we go. Okay, that's not a very pretty bow, is it? I'll do that for a minute. You know what I actually like to do? I'm going to cheat for a minute. Where's my here? We go. I'm going to actually, I'm cheating. Because my fingers don't work, I've just put a little glue dot down. Um, just so that I can hold that in place. So then I can tie my bow. Again, I can't feel my right hand right now, so. Yeah, it should be fun. There. Okay. Not beautiful, but that's okay. Um, okay, so then... It's telling me I need my Miss You, which is let me turn it this way. Over here, Miss. Okay. So, miss, and I need dimensionals for that one. Okay. 
You can see how I'm using my take your pick tool to lift those. I do find my take your pick tool is an amazing tool for days like this where I can't uh, really feel my fingers too well. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of slide this down a little bit here. And go miss. You. Don't love that. <laughs> I don't love that bow right now. Um, okay, so I need my dot on top of my right here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I just realized these were supposed to be um, glue dots, not dimensionals. That's okay. That's okay. No big deal. Um, okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to put mine down there. It's supposed to actually go in the middle here, but I'm going to put mine there just because um, I put my bow in the wrong spot, but that's okay. No right or wrong, of course, right? Okay, and uh, let's make sure that's kind of on straight. That's usually super helpful. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this onto my peach. Okay, that's really cute. Now I'm gonna use my um, I'm going to use my Tombow. Oh, I don't need to use my Tombow. I've got dimensionals on here. <gasps> Boy, I'm having a day today, aren't I? I'm a little off today. Can you tell? There we go. Let's try this and see what happens. Okay, that's cute. Now, I want my cherries... So I want two cherries. That are going to go. Put one there. I'm going to put one on either side, actually. Let me put one here. Like that, and one there. And I'm going to use my dimensionals on this one. So this one, I'm going to put about there, and this one, I'm going to put about here. Now, on my somewhere, somewhere, I have my little teeny mini stars. I know I saw them. 
I'm probably staring at them. Where are my little stars? Those ones. That must be what I saw. Must be. Okay. I have a couple little vellum stars here that I'm going to put right there and right here. And I'm going to use my glue dots for these ones. Oh, my fingers are not working today. Grr. Okay. Now, I would like to fix this bow. I am not loving this bow today. I'm going to trim this down. There. Okay. Now, I need my pearls. with my take your pick tool and I'm going to go one two three there is card number one is that pretty okay I'll probably do alternatives for these Okay, so that's card number one. What's card number two? Let's see what card number two is. Card number two needs so much to celebrate. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just clean off my stamp. Okay, so so much to celebrate is what I'm doing now. Which is this one right here. Okay, so I'm going to place this on my glass mat to line it up, place it down, get my ink pad. And again, I'm going to do all three stamping right now just because I have my ink pad out. Um, I uh, just want to make sure I'm, I'm going to do this on this one. One, two, three. Okay. So much to celebrate. Now I need this green leaf. That's no garbage. I need my pink card. There we go. So this is going to come here. This is going to use tear and tape. Oh, so pretty. Um, tear and tape. Where's my tear and tape? Right here. Okay, so tear and tape. If you've never used tear and tape before, friends, this is a really, really awesome product. So a little trick to this is pushing down on it, just giving a little rub, and then it peels off so much nicer. So we're going to place this about here. Then we're going to take these two leaves. We're going to go one, two, and we're going to use glue dots for this one. So I'm going to take this, 
and I'm going to place it on the end of my leaf. And peel that one back. Like that. And then and like that okay we're doing good so far and then it wants me to use my ribbon okay do you see my messy desk and it wants me to swirl this so i'm gonna kind of do this i'm not measuring exactly as it wants me to I'm actually going to do something a little different. I'm going out of the box today. I know you're all thinking, oh boy, Cindy, don't go out of the box. Going out of the box can be kind of dangerous. But I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, so. I am going to take my lemons. So here's my lemons. I want a big lemon and a little lemon. And it wants my big lemon here, my little lemon here, with my thread behind, which I think we can handle. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something a little different. There. Because there's already tear and tape on the back there, that's kind of holding that. I'm going to use my dimensionals here. Oops, I did not need three dimensionals on that. Okay, well, now they're there. So I'm going to put my first, my little dimension, my little lemon down first, like that. Then I'll come in and do. this lemon here like that okay Ooh, what a messy desk I have right now friends and then I'm going to use my sentiment that I stamped but first I need to grab my congrats which is Trying to find congrats, I think this one right here. So I like to flip these over so I can kind of see what it is I'm pulling out. And I'm just trying to get all the little insides out. If I took my take your pick tool, it would probably make it go a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to use my dimensionals here on my congrats. I probably should just be using, um, no, I'm using dimensionals. So if you don't have a take your pick tool, it's an amazing tool for lots and lots of things. Come in. There we go. So now I'm going to put this across here. Congrats. And then I'll use two dimensionals here and here. And then I'll use tear and tape. That's a really cute card, actually. I 
I gotta clean off my desk. Do you see what a disaster my desk is right now? Are you guys saying this? I literally cannot feel my fingers right now. Like I know that I'm pushing down, but I'm not seeing, I'm not feeling anything. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I'm gonna actually trim this down like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, that was actually really, really, really adorable. Okay, so let me just take a second to kind of swoosh all this off my desk over to the side and I'll clean that all up after I'm done the video. All right, let's do the last card. Ooh, this is a really pretty one. Okay, so sweet friend is what I want on this one. This one's gonna have peaches. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't understand the whole fruit thing. Um, I'm not a, like, um, I don't ever buy stamps with fruit. Do you guys? Oops, I left my tumble open. There we go. Okay. Sweet friend. There we go. Sweet friend. Now, my sweet friend, I'm going to stamp here on these little pieces. I'm going to do three of them. So if you have the new ink pads, I like to use my new ink pads because I find they're very juicy and a lot easier to work with. But if you don't, the, the uh, Stampin' Spots are a great, great alternative. There you go, sweet friend. So then that one is stamped. Put that one over there. Let's put this away because I think we're done with our stamps. Beautiful. Okay, so we need in here. These ones even come packaged in their own package. Oh, because there's two pieces. Okay, I thought they were attached. Perfect. Okay, so we need that. We need our green base, which will be Shy Shamrock. Okay, so it's telling me to use my tear and tape on the vellum. So I'm going tear and tape here, tear and tape here. One, two. Okay, now I need to, um, my little glue dots I'm going to use on here. So let's see what we can do here. So you can see where I'm using my take your pick tool to lift these up instead of fighting with my fingers. Now they only use three. I'm using more than three, but it's probably okay. Okay, so now this is going to go on top of my vellum. Like this. Beautiful. Okay. Now I need my peaches. So we've had lemons. Where did my peaches go? Right here. So I need two big peaches, so I need a dark and a light, and I need a dark and a light, and a baby dark. Okay, so pay attention to this one because there's multiple peaches. 
Okay, so one of my big peaches is going to have dimensionals. Once I locate my dimensionals again, right here. Okay, where's my take a big tool? Right, and then the rest of them, well, they actually put two on here, so let's put two in here. And then the rest of them are going to have glue dots. So I'm going to put this one about here. Then I'm going to come in with my light peach. And I'm going to put some glue dot here. Peel that back. Come on, baby. Okay. And I'm going to put that about there. And then I'm going to take these peaches. I'm going to put one there. Oops. I'm going to take my roller and clean off all these little bits of backings off my desk. So there's my peaches. And then it wants me to take my hello, um, hello right here. Oh, my phone is going cuckoo. Okay, and then. Like that. So I'm going to peel these off. I'm going to say hello right here. And then I'm going to use Sweet Friend. This one's super cute. I really like this one. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to use my thread. Ah. Oh, well, this one doesn't have thread. Completely forgot to add the thread on this one. And then I need my pearls. I'm gonna put my pearl there. Okay, this one's cute. Except for the linen thread that I forgot, which is supposed to go behind this peach. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's take a look. These actually were cuter than I thought they were gonna be. Miss you. Wish you were here. Hello, sweet friend. Congrats so much to celebrate. Super cute. All right, so that is June's paper pumpkin. So I hope you enjoyed those. Um, the next month coming up is incredibly beautiful. Um, the box on its own is really pretty. So you can imagine what the contents are going to look like. So if you have not yet subscribed to July's, you need to do so before the 10th of the month um, to make sure that you get your, your copy of that, okay? Uh, a lot of times people don't subscribe and then they get upset when they realize that they can't get them. So uh, don't wait, get it because the box is beautiful. So, you know, the contents are going to be amazing. All right. Thanks everybody for joining me. I hope you're having a fantastic day and come back. I may be doing some alternatives on that one. All right. We'll talk soon. Bye.